Good afternoon, Swartz Creek. I'm Nick. And I'm Nolan. And welcome to ITC. Happy birthday to Mayasha Robinson, Michael Larson, Gage Spawn, Jonathan Trimble, Logan Williard, and Rick Astley. Have a great day, boys and girls. Now please rise for the pledge. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, if you have not purchased your gown through Jostens, please make sure to remember to place your orders as soon as possible. Congrats to the boys basketball for winning against Kersley this Friday night, last Friday night. All freshmen who have signed up to help or did not and would like to help at the Parents' Night Out fundraiser, please attend the meeting held on Thursday after school at 6 p.m. in the Media Center. Important that all volunteers come so information can be distributed. Pennies for Pasta has lunch and is ready for everyone's participation. The fourth hour class that raises the most money will receive an entire Olive Garden lunch. Winners will be announced the first week of March. All proceeds uh, will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. What makes the world beautiful? Is it a painting? Is it music? Is it dance? What does the world look like without these things? The arts make the world beautiful, but what are the arts exactly? The arts are a series of disciplines which cultivate our ability to imagine, create, and innovate. Those sound like science words. And science shows students who have greater access to the arts improve their chances to succeed in life. 72% of business leaders say that creativity is the number one skill they hire for. And educators agree that arts teach creativity. What do you think? I agree. Like creative writing, which has the word creative right in the name and gives kids essential critical thinking skills. Or music, which is basically math and science made beautiful. Studio arts courses like painting, ceramics, and photography teach math and science concepts in a practical way. Say cheese. And dramatic arts also help young people expand their confidence and self-expression. Hear me now! Only 3% of grade schools offer dance. Who doesn't love to dance? Let's check the facts. Students who are involved in the arts are four times more likely to participate in a math and science day. That's good for math and science. Those same students are more likely to be recognized for academic achievement. Are you seeing a pattern here? Learning creative skills keeps kids in school and makes them more desirable in the job market as graduates. Plus, they're 17% more likely to volunteer and 20% more likely to vote as young adults. That sounds like winning at life. And check this out. Students of low socioeconomic status have an average dropout rate of 22%. But students from the same neighborhoods who got a chance to take art classes had an average dropout rate of 4%. And did you know that students who take four years of classes in any of the arts disciplines average almost 100 points better on their SAT scores than students who don't? If this were a basketball game, 100 points would be a big deal. But every year we hear about more and more arts programs being cut in our schools and our communities. Are you wondering how to support the winning team of the future? Here's what you do. Tell everyone. No, seriously. Share this video with people. I didn't make it just to listen to myself talk. Ask around. School teachers, parents, students, principals, administrators. Ask them what's happening with arts programs in your community. Ask them if they need anything. You'd be surprised how easy it is just by starting a conversation. So if you're a principal, a school board member, or somebody just plain important, do something. It's not just for the kids, it's for the future, for all of us. The arts make the world beautiful and our students smart and successful. Encourage creativity. Teach the arts. Come see the staff of Elms Road Elementary live on stage at the Elms Road Staff Variety Show, Tuesday, February 28th at 6 p.m. at the Swartz Creek Performing Arts Center. Mr. Kitchen and the rest of Elms Road crew will be singing, dancing, acting. It's sure going to be a great time. Advanced tickets are, will be available at Elms Road Elementary Office for $2. Each 
or $5 cap per family. We hope to see you there. The freshman class will be hosting a parents' night out this Friday, February 10th, from 6 to 10 p.m. at the middle school as a fundraiser. Volunteers from the class of 2020 are needed to help out. This would involve working at a station while helping to monitor the kindergarten through fifth graders. Please sign up by writing your name on a sign-up sheet, which are located on Mrs. Green's or Mrs. Coach or, or Coach T's door in the band room or in the lunchroom. Information will follow. Ferris State University will be here for a college visit tomorrow during fifth hour. Please sign up in the counseling office if you are interested in attending. All right, more details on the lacrosse season schedule, costs and contacts will be provided then. Tryouts begin March 13th. Get your tryout cards and physicals in the athletic office. There will be a formal dress sale on February 19th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the American Legion on Morris Road. If you have a dress that you would like to sell or if you have any questions, please email Al hbridalshow at gmail.com. <laughs> Tech will start for Pride and Prejudice tomorrow after school until 4.30 in the scene shop in the PAC. For more information, see Mr. Drudge in the PAC. Remember, students, if you have a late bus, remember to go to the Welcome Center to get a pass. Three, two, one. Girls tennis meeting today after school in room 207. Uh, with Mr. Root. Conditioning starts Wednesday after school, 2.45 to 4 p.m. Sadly, trivia night is canceled. Not enough people signed up for it. Good job, Creek. Way to go. Attention all boys and girls interested in running track this spring. Conditioning starts tomorrow after school. That's all we have for today. Have a regular old semi-boring halfway through the school year Monday, Creek.